What's going on, guys? This is Ryan with the RK Outpost, and the disaster that is the Galactic Star Cruiser Hotel continues to get worse for Disney Star Wars, because evidently, there's only so much cringe that people can take. Video after video, promotion after promotion for this hotel that is supposed to be this massive, exclusive, luxury experience for Star Wars fans has come out, and they have all been met with criticism and backlash, even resulting in them being forced to delete some of these videos. Well, evidently, it was a little too much for some people who are interested because they have deleted their reservations. And that has to be what Disney's really worried about. Because if you remember, it wasn't that long ago, back in November, that we got this report. A month ago, Disney's Star Wars Galactic Star Cruiser Hotel is sold out for four months. They open up those first four months, March, April, May, and June and they were virtually sold out of everything. Well, now we're getting closer and closer to the day where it opens, and that doesn't seem to be the case anymore. In fact, when we go and look, there are openings in March and April and May and June. Uh, and not only that, but if you look past that, July, August, and September, you can go where, whenever you want. Whenever you want, it is open because the promotion for this has been a complete and utter disaster. Like we've talked about, they deleted their big promotional thing with this cringe kid talking to a Disney Imagineer. This was the main thing that people were waiting for. Disney's opportunity and Lucasfilm's opportunity to show everybody what it was going to be like to stay at this hotel that cost thousands of dollars per night per person. And they epically failed. And we have seen some of the backlash right here. Star Wars Hotel concept versus reality. This is what they told you it was going to look like in the concept art. All of this detail, all of these things that truly make it unique in Star Wars, as opposed to just a random hallway with very little detail. And in fact, the back, that just looks like, that just looks like a drywall wall that you would see in any office building anywhere that you go. Uh, and not only that, we also had this welcome video the other day. This Star Wars hotel lady is using an iPhone as a portable hologram thing. And I, I was wondering if that was actually the case. I really was. We have to see if this is true. Is this the case? Now, I made fun of this when it came out because it's just yet another cringe promotional video. This background that looks nothing like Star Wars at all. It's just like generic sci-fi set number five from the 1980s. It looks terrible. But let's see, is she using an iPhone? For this special voyage, your ship will be piloted by... Uh, it certainly looks like an iPhone, doesn't it? We're gonna close up. What do you guys think this is? Do you think, is this an iPhone? Is that what she's using for this? I don't know. I don't know if there's any way to confirm. There is definitely the little thing right on the side like you would expect on an iPhone or an Android device or whatever. Maybe they're just specially made for this. You know damn well they don't actually have a hologram coming out of there. But it is curious that that seems to be where the lights would be on an iPhone. I, I don't know. It Captain Keevan. And then Captain Keevan, of course. We have to talk about Captain Keevan as well because that's another piece to this puzzle. Disney reveals Captain Keevan, Star Wars Galactic Star Cruiser character. Clearly a Kathleen Kennedy self insert because you know that this voyage has to be led by a strong, powerful female character who's just cool and respected by everyone. Charismatic, respected, and trustworthy, Captain Keevan will lead your voyage aboard the Halcyon Star Cruiser. She's a strong and decisive leader, endearing herself to both her crew and her passengers by being fair to all and cool under pressure. A skill she's learned from her adventurous history. You'd be wise to listen carefully and follow her instructions. Of course you would. Uh, this is, listen, if you can't see that this is a Kathleen Kennedy character, a self-insert, I don't know what to tell you. Look at my thumbnail, because you know I'm going to put both of them in there. I have to, because this so clearly looks like Kathleen Kennedy. But I digress. It, it is just over and over again. Whatever comes out about this, people cringe. Anything that is revealed about the Galactic Star Cruiser Hotel, people don't like it. Does this seem like Star Wars to you? Tell me, Gaia performs on Star Wars Galactic Star Cruiser. Look 
Is this what you thought you would be experiencing? The main attraction of the Disney Star Wars Hotel? A, a Twi'lek singing something that sounds nothing like Star Wars and sounds everything like something you would just randomly hear on TV right now? It cannot get more cringe than this. This is why people have been canceling their reservations, right? This is why when you look at these months that were completely sold out, all of a sudden you have some openings. In March, the, the first month, in April, in May, in June, all these months that were completely sold out earlier, now available. Plus everything that they've put out since July, August, and September, I can go anytime I want. I don't want to because that's cringe and stupid. Who would want to go to this? Nobody. Absolutely no one should want to go to this. But there are some people that still have faith that it might be good, even though each and everything just makes it look worse and worse. And if you want to stay in this luxury hotel, there you go. This is all the space you get. You get one little, looks like a full bed and some bunk beds crammed into a little tiny room. This guy, Brad Stevenson, says, the Star Wars Galactic Star Cruiser Hotel looks really cool, but it's hard to get past the actual rooms, which look like cheap backpacker accommodations instead of luxury $15,000 to $3,000 per night elite experiences. Absolutely. Disney and Lucasfilm have done what they have consistently done with Star Wars. They just slap the name Star Wars on it, put in as little effort as possible, and hope that people will show up. And you know what? To a large part, they've been right. People have done that. When you look at the merchandise that they're selling at Galaxy's Edge, when you look at all these things, you know what? They can go low effort and still make money. Not the money they should be making from this, obviously. But it has been enough for them to continue to do this time after time after time. It's easier for them to be lazy like this. Will it finally actually hurt them in the pocketbook from doing something like this? I don't know. We've seen these cancellations. We've seen July, August, September not fill up at all. I guess we'll have to see what happens. But one thing's for sure, the marketing campaign for this has been an absolute and unmitigated disaster. And I, for one, couldn't be happier about that. Let me know your thoughts about this in the comments below. Smash a like button, subscribe to the channel, ring the bell for notifications, share this video out there, and I'll talk to you later. Thanks for watching, everyone. And a huge shout out to my patrons. I appreciate you guys so much. Want to follow me on Twitter or Instagram? Check out the description below. You'll find links to my PO box and my Patreon as well. I'll talk to you guys later.